Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another edition of Rock's Garage. I'm your host, Dan, and on today's episode, we're going to be installing part number LGT-143, which is our basic turn signal kit, and we're going to be installing that on our EasyGo RXB. Now, before we get started, let's take a look at everything that comes in that kit and the tools we're going to need to perform the installation. So when you first open up your kit, you're going to have your turn signal unit itself with the attached harness. You're going to have your collars as well as your hardware, and you're also going to receive a harness for if you wanted to hardwire the turn signal into the cart. And now that we've taken a look at everything that comes in the kit, let's take a look at the tools we're going to need to perform the installation. So we only need a few simple tools for this install. We have a ratchet wrench with a 10 millimeter socket. We have a Phillips head screwdriver and a 13 millimeter wrench. And now before we get started, we just want to go over a few safety precautions. Now, like I mentioned, we just want to go over a few safety precautions before we get started. First up, we're going to turn our cart off. After that, we're going to set our parking brake. And if you have an electric cart, you're going to flip your tow run switch to the tow position. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the cart from the battery or the battery pack. Now that our cart is disconnected from the battery or the battery pack, our first step is to remove our cup holders. On the underside of your cup holder, there are going to be three nuts. There's going to be one on this side, one right in the middle, and then another one on the other side. They're not really all that tight. You could probably do it with just your socket and your hand. Go ahead and just twist those off. If you have some trouble getting the nut off, you can go ahead and pull up on the cup holder itself to put a little bit of pressure on to the nut. And once your three nuts are removed, you can go ahead and lift up on the front of the cup holder and pull forward. Now that our cup holders are removed, we're going to go ahead and locate our 9-pin connector that is on the harness that was previously installed on a cart. Currently, the harness has this jumper plugged into it. We're just going to go ahead and disconnect that. And we're going to plug our turn signal directly into that connector. Make sure that it clicks into place. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and mount our turn signal onto the steering column. Now, we want to make sure that there's enough slack in the line that we can keep all of the big parts of the harness behind the dash. All right, so right about there looks good. So we're going to take our mounting collar as well as one of the spacers. We're going to use the large spacer because the steering column on the RXVs is a little bit smaller. We're going to go ahead and put that right into place and attach it using the supplied hardware. So now that the turn signal is mounted to the cart, our next step is to mount part number LGT-107A, which is our steering column cover. Now, this cart already had another turn signal installed, so our column cover is already cut to length. But when you get your column cover, it's going to be a little bit long. So all you need to do is really measure out how far down the column you want it to go. And then you can cut the column cover with a knife or a saw. It's pretty easy to cut. Once you have your length, you can go ahead and attach it. It's going to slide right over the column. You want to make sure that you have your harness in the channel that is on the back of it, and it's nice and secure. Once your column cover is installed, we can go ahead and reinstall our cup holders. Now that our cup holders are back on, our last step is to reconnect the battery and test our light kit. Now that you've tested everything and verified that everything works, that's going to do it for the install on part number LGT-143 on our EasyGo RXV. Thanks for watching this episode of Rock's Garage. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.